This radiation therapy treatment machine is called a linear accelerator. It uses electricity to create powerful x-rays. During treatment, you will lie down on the treatment couch. The couch can be moved in several directions to help get you in the right location. We will use a system of lights, lasers and computer readouts to help with that, so the room is usually semi-dark. The machine can move around you, but it will not touch you. The x-rays come out of the machine here. The beam of x-rays will be shaped precisely to suit your needs. The direction and shaping of the x-ray beams is different for every patient. They are planned out by your radiation oncology team using a 3D computer model of you that will make out of your planning CT scan. This scan and other information is used by your doctor to determine where they want the radiation to go. They also highlight normal organs that need to be avoided. When treating a breast, it's important to avoid the other breast, as well as underlying structures such as the lungs and heart. Angling a series of treatment beams so that they glance across the chest allows us to deliver the prescribed dose throughout the breast while everything else is largely avoided. It is not possible to avoid a small section of the lung directly beneath the breast. In some women, it is more challenging to completely avoid the heart. While only a small section may be included in the treatment beams, this can still increase the risk of heart disease in later life. Taking a deep breath moves the breast further away from the heart, reducing this risk for many women. In this side-by-side -side comparison, you can see how taking a deep breath has expanded the underlying lung, pushing the breast up and the heart down, meaning it will be further away from the treatment beams. This is known as the deep inspiration breath hold technique. Treatment beams can last for up to 30 seconds, and it's normal to feel anxious about holding your breath for that long. Please don't be concerned, I certainly was. Um, I was very concerned about holding my breath. I went home very worried about what's a normal process, breathing. So I spent my time walking around taking a deep breath for 20 seconds, thinking I can't do this. I didn't understand that I was going to be helped so much by the wonderful people here. They made me feel very calm. Your radiation therapist will guide you through the process of holding your breath. Starting on the day of your planning CT scan, they will coach you in holding your breath. First with a quick breath in and out, then a deep breath in and hold. It was really easy. They explained that if I anything happened um, and I had to let my breath out, everything was in order, I would be perfectly safe. That's because we have safeguards built into the system. This small box is part of a monitoring system that can pause the treatment beam if you can't hold your breath for the whole time. On the day of your planning CT, you will have two scans, one while holding your breath and one while breathing normally. This lets your doctor determine if holding your breath is beneficial for you because it's not needed in every case. If you do use the breath hold technique, Every day before treatment, the radiation therapists will guide you through the same coaching process using monitoring systems and simple instructions as they position you in the same way you were when you had your planning CT scan. They will use a system of skin marks, lights, lasers and computer readouts to help position you. They will also place the box again so your breathing can be monitored. The coaching will be the same each time, first a quick breath in and out then a deep breath in and hold. Once the team has observed your breathing and run through their checklists, they will leave the room to start the treatment. You'll hear a beeping noise as they go. While they are outside the room, they can speak to you over the intercom and watch you on closed circuit TV. They will continue to guide you through the breathing process as they take an x-ray picture. The picture allows them to check that everything is positioned exactly as planned. During treatment, the machine will move around you, but it will not touch you at all. In between treatment beams, you can breathe normally. Your radiation therapist will let you know how many beams your doctor has prescribed and give you an indication of how long each beam will take. I haven't had any trouble at all following their instructions. Even when I had a cough, don't worry Judy, it'll be fine. If you cough, the machine will cut out and you'll be looked after perfectly. So. Please don't be worried about having deep breathing radiation therapy. The people that look after you know exactly what they're doing and they really make you feel at ease.